welcome back today we are going to start off with the module 2 in this module we are going to study about mosfet amplifier configuration and under this topic we are going to study the basic configurations of mosfet characterizing the amplifiers and common source amplifier with and without source resistance and along with that we are going to study about source follower as well and next in the sub topic titled the uh, mosfet internal capacitances and high frequency model in this we are going to study about the gate capacitive effect junction capacitances and high frequency model and under the next section we are going to study about the frequency response of the common source amplifier under that we have three frequency bands we will study about high frequency response and as well as low frequency response and last we are going to study about the oscillators under this we are going to study about field effect transistors based on phase shift oscillator and lc and crystal oscillator for these two oscillators there is no derivation okay and for this module we are going to refer textbook 1 and these are all the sub topics serial number of the module 2 in uh, to start off with the module 2 first we are going to study about the basic amplifier configuration so in the previous module meaning uh, in module 1 we studied that the linear amplification is uh, produced by the mosfet as an amplifier when it is operated at an appropriate point in its active region of operation by keeping the input signal small isn't it so now here the mosfet has three basic configurations so each of these configuration is obtained by connecting any one of the three terminals either source gate or drain to the ground so when any one of the terminal is connected to ground a two port network is created with ground terminal being common to both input port and output port so we have these three configurations so common source is the first one it is denoted by cs and common gate is the second one it is denoted by cg third one is common drain denoted by cd so any mosfet will have these three terminals that is gate drain and source okay so common source configuration is obtained by connecting the source terminal of the mosfet to the ground as you can see here i have marked it with a dotted line for you to identify easily and understand so when it is connected to ground a two port network is created you can see here this is the input port then this is the output port this ground terminal is common to both input port as well as the output port so now here in common source configuration the input voltage is applied between the gate and the ground and the output voltage is obtained between the drain and the ground across the resistance rd that is connected it is also called grounded source or common source amplifier and the next one is the common gate it is obtained by connecting this gate terminal to the ground as you can see here here also this ground is common to both input as well as output this is the input port and this is the output port so this ground terminal is common to both input port as well as the output port okay here the input signal is connected between the source and the ground and the output signal is obtained across the resistance that is connected between the drain and the ground okay and the next configuration is the common drain wherein this drain terminal of the mosfet is connected to ground it is marked by a dotted line for you to identify easily and as you can see here here also similarly we have a two port network this is input port and this is output port this ground terminal is common to both 
input as well as the output port. Okay, so now here the input signal is connected between the gate and the ground. Okay, and the output signal is obtained between the resist uh, between the source terminal and the ground terminal across the resistance RL. This RL is the load resistance. Okay, this configuration is more commonly referred to as a source follower configuration. All right, this is about the configurations of the MOSFET. So to summarize briefly, there are three configurations, common source, common gate, and common drain. Each of these configurations is obtained by connecting any one of the three terminals to the ground. So next topic we have is characterizing amplifiers. Okay, consider this diagram wherein this is the op-amp and the input signal is VC and the internal resistance of the input voltage source is the RC. Okay, and the input current is denoted by II into the op-amp and the output current is denoted by I0 and this is the load resistance RL and across this we will obtain the output voltage V0 and the input voltage to the op-amp at this particular node is VI. Okay, so here this V seek and R seek can be the actual signal source of this uh, circuit component or these can be the actual parameters of the signal source or else if I consider this circuit is cascaded of this same type okay so this v sig and r sig can be the thevenin's equivalent of the output circuit of another preceding amplifier in cascade so this same circuit will be connected here behind this and this same type will be connected next to this circuitry okay so Imagine that configuration uh, wherein these uh, circuits are uh, connected in uh, cascade. So, under that particular uh, situ situation or uh, condition, this VSIG and RSIG can be the actual parameters of the signal source or the Thevenin's output, Thevenin's equivalent of the output circuit of the preceding amplifier stage that is in cascade. Hope you understood. And similarly, this RL can be the actual load resistance or it can be the input resistance of the succeeding amplifier stage in the cascade connection. So to brief out, let us say this uh, section is uh, connected in uh, cascade. So this VSIG and RSIG can be the Thevenin's equivalent of the output stage that is there in the preceding amplifier connected in cascade. And similarly, this RL can be the actual load resistance or else it can be the input resistance of the succeeding amplifier stage in the cascade amplifier. Succeeding means next stage. Preceding means the previous stage. And then uh, the parameters like uh, RI, R0, AV0, meaning voltage gain, and AIS, that is the short circuit voltage gain, and uh, GM, meaning this is the overall voltage, this is GM is the transconductance. This will pertain to the amplifier alone meaning they won't depend on the RC or RL that you can see here and one more thing this R in R out AV that is the voltage gain and AI is the current gain and GV naught is the 
overall so acute old age gain and gv is the overall old age gain will depend on one or both of rc and rl and if rn is equal to ri the condition that must be satisfied is that rl should be equal to infinite and if r not is equal to r out r sig must be equal to zero and for unilateral non unilateral amplifiers meaning wherein now uh, unilateral means there is no feedback between the output and the input so for non unilateral amplifiers r in may depend on rl and r out may depend on r sig because there will be feedback present in non unilateral amplifiers and uh, the loading of the amplifier on the signal source is mainly determined by the input resistance r in so the value of this r in will determine the current i i that is drawn by the amplifier you can see here this i i that is current drawn into the amplifier will be determined by the resistance r in and it also determines the proportion of the signal v sig that appears at the input of the amplifier and next whenever we are evaluating the gain av from the open circuit value that is av not r not is the output resistance that we are supposed to use because this av is based on feeding the amplifier with an ideal signal voltage v i so this av is equal to av not into rl by rl plus r not av is based on feeding the amplifier with an ideal signal voltage v i for this you have to need to refer the circuit a here so here v sig is the input signal source this is the input resistance of the signal source and here the voltage v1 appears at the input uh, terminal of the op amp and here internal resistance of the op amp is r in and uh, here we have an voltage uh, source and the output voltage is uh, gain times the input voltage so av not into vi and this is the output resistance of the op amp and here this is the i not is the output current and rl is the load resistance across which we are going to measure the output voltage that is v not so av is equal to av not into rl by rl plus r not and whenever we are evaluating the overall voltage gain gv from its open circuit overall voltage gain value that is gv not the output resistance that we are supposed to use is r not so refer a circuit b for this and uh, the equation for uh, this is uh, gv is equal to gv not into rl by rl plus r not and uh, this is because uh, gv is based on feeding the amplifier with uh, v sig which has a internal resistance r sig so r sig also should be inculcated in this formula so that uh, this uh, particular formula will be modified into r in by r in plus r sig into av not into rl by rl plus r not and uh, coming to the definitions of uh, various parameters the input resistance with no load is given by ri is equal to the input voltage by input current when the load resistance is equal to infinity because no load and uh, input resistance is uh, simply equal to r in equal to vi by ii and then open circuit voltage gain is av not that is equal to v not by v in open circuit 
that is why ri is equal to infinity and then voltage gain ab is equal to v not by v in we know this and then short circuit current gain is given by e subscript is i represents current and s for short circuit this is given by i not by ii short circuit that is why rl is equal to zero and current gain ai is equal to given by output current by input current i not by ii and short circuit transconductance is equal to you know that transconductance is equal to output current by input voltage so i not by vi short circuit that is why rl is equal to zero and output resistance of amplifier proper so rl uh, sorry r not is equal to vx by ix or vi equal to zero so this is the circuit uh, diagram that we are supposed to consider for this so here you can see vi is equal to zero isn't it so vi is grounded no no input voltage is given and here also obviously vi will be equal to zero and uh, vx is a voltage that is measured looking into this side and uh, ix is the current that is uh, obtained here this is the current source you can see and the r naught is the output resistance and the output resistance that is r out is equal to vx by ix for v sig equal to zero here vi was equal to zero meaning the input voltage at the op amp is equal to zero that is the output resistance of amplifier in proper okay output resistance just output resistance means the input voltage whatever we giving to the circuitry itself is zero meaning v signal is equal to zero so you can see here this is grounded okay and we have rc here and the input voltage to the op amp vi is measured here okay r out is equal to vx by ix for vc equal to zero the same is uh, there for this circuitry also at the output side output side will remain the same for both the circuitry only thing is vi is equal to zero here whereas here in proper means vi is equal to zero for uh, just output resistance means vc will be equal to zero and uh, open circuit overall uh, voltage gain is given by gv not is equal to output voltage by input voltage v not by vc for rl is equal to infinite because open circuit and overall voltage gain gv simply gv is equal to v not by vc and uh, these are the equivalent uh, circuits for the above shown uh, circuit here for this so here i explained this uh, circuit uh, previously here uh, we have a voltage source so main key point to remember these three diagrams is that whenever we have a voltage source the resistor will be connected in series okay whenever we have current source this resistor r not will be connected in parallel okay and uh, all at the input side uh, this part of the circuitry will remain the same you can see here only thing is here voltage uh, voltage source isn't it so output voltage is equal to av not into vi here also we have voltage source so here it will be equal to transconductance gm into input signal that is v sig and uh, here also it's the same whenever it is a current source it will be gm into the input current that is i i it is simple to remember and uh, these are all the relationship between uh, uh, various parameters that is overall voltage gain voltage gain and uh, so on just uh, go through 
this uh, v i by v c is equal to r in by r in plus r c. See here, v i by v c is equal to r in by r in plus r c. Just apply voltage divider rule. We'll get this formula. And uh, a v is equal to a v naught into r l by r l plus r naught. Okay, this is the output that you want to look into. A V naught is equal to G M into R naught. G M into R naught is equal to A V naught. Like that, you just go through these six formulas and these circuits. And next, we will continue with the next topics.